Hi, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk mountain weather, ski conditions. And boy, do we have a great weekend shaping up with uh, powder, Intermountain West, place to be. Uh, we could see, I love this term, the, the couple of cold smoke days with this uh, northwesterly wind flow. So here's my Tomer watch list for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Alta, Snowbird, Jackson Hole, Big Sky, Vale, Breck, Loveland, Steamboat, Aspen, Snowmass. I think a lot of these areas are going to see one to two feet of accumulation, and some could have more than that, as I'll show you. But that is the uh, the watch list right now. We'll jump into the analysis. First of all, here's a live cam from Alta, where it has been snowing, and there is more snow ahead. I mean, we're going to have this uh, northwesterly wind flow uh, all the way into the weekend, uh, which will definitely impact the Wasatch. At times, it may not be snowing all that much, but... It'll come back. All right, so here's radar and satellite. So again, this is the initial storm that will just open the door for that northwesterly wind flow. And you can see it. It's just crossing Utah and moving into Colorado right now with a lot of wind energy behind it. Again, this is just going to open the door for what we're going to see as we slide into the, uh, to the weekend. All right, so let's check out uh, the jet. This is really important. Right now, what we have is a powerful jet streak. You can see it with that pink core right there sliding uh, through uh, Utah and into Colorado. That's going to push some snow squalls through those areas at times. So what's really critical is what happens behind this. And watch the jet stream as we move into Friday. Look at that thing, that northwesterly wind flow. This is the key. This is what will direct a lot of that colder air to bump into the peaks and we're going to get some really good orographic snow out of this that may carry on through the weekend and maybe even in through Sunday and Monday at this point, which I'll show you on the future radar. By the time we get into Thursday, we're talking about the blue, which is your snow. That's going to be rolling. It's going to, be start, it's going to start to establish itself and watch it come in Thursday into Friday. Look at that. This is a thing of beauty, that northwest flow pattern. We're talking good snow and the parts of Idaho, the Tetons, into the Wasatch, and into the central to northern mountains of Colorado. It really starts to pick up at that point, and into Saturday as well, same thing. We're squeezing out that cold smoke in some of these places from the Tetons all the way down to the Wasatch and into the central to northern mountains of Colorado. Of course, there may be breaks. Uh, in between all this, but it continues right there. Even on Sunday morning, we're still looking at this powerful flow that may at times, and what you have to do with these Northwest flows are time out the lobes, uh, the little packets of energy that dive down and can kind of, uh, the heavier pockets with this. And you can see one right there trying to reload coming in on the back side from Sunday into uh, the Monday time frame as well. There comes the next one rolling down through Idaho, and that one will likely brush the Wasatch and then again hitting the Tetons and the central to northern mountains of Colorado. So this is going to keep it going and potentially again all the way into next week as far as um, snow amounts go. Just starting to get things rolling here. Here we are on Thursday morning. Look at the numbers in Colorado. Um, that's going to be a nice powder day down there along I-70 and north. You can see the numbers, and then they continue to go up. As we move into Friday with the next lobe coming down on that northwest flow, the numbers start to tick up again. Big Sky, Jackson Hole, Discovery, all the way down to Alta and Snowbird, and we're continuing to add more into Saturday. Saturday is going to be a big, big powder day. We've got a foot at least in Jackson Hole at that point down to Alta, um, and I'll show you the plumes. I've got my snow plumes up for Jackson and Alta coming up here. These are kind of um, conservative, I think, the, the conservative most likely values, but I'll show you what the high-end numbers look like coming up. And look at those numbers in Colorado just continuing to go up. A lot of these places, again, we'll, have, we'll see one to two feet, if not pockets of three, as we work our way into the weekend. By Sunday, the numbers keep ticking up. I was these lobes track down on that northwest flow pattern. And, and again, it's an orographic pattern. That's what makes it so good. By Monday morning, look at some of these numbers. And again, these are conservative to most likely. Um, as we look at the snow plumes for Alta, it could be a lot more than this. So again, you know, it's most likely to be a foot, uh, probably 20 inches. But, you know, as we kind of roll Friday, Saturday, Sunday, it could be much more than that. It could be over 24 inches on the plume. Uh, it, you know, it, when you look this far out to try to time out when the lobes come down and what the exact door graphics are going to be, you could easily exceed um, some of these most likely numbers. And Jackson Hole, it's very similar. Um, between Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, it could be over two feet. It could be, you know, pushing off the charts. 
by the time we get into uh, Sunday, Monday. So a lot of things to look forward to, timing out this northwest flow. It's always interesting. It's a challenge, but you get the idea here. It, it is going to be a powder weekend in a lot of these areas, so enjoy it. And again, always appreciate you tuning in here. Take care.